Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I am combining ingredients from two soups from Tuscany in one. Tuscany is a region in the central Italy in position between the poor south and industrial north. This well-being is well reflected on a Tuscan cuisine, when some dishes are more of a peasant style and some have sophistication. The two soups I'm combining today are one is a white bean Tuscan soup, which has more of a peasant style stew-like consistency, and the other one is Zuppa Toscana, which has more sophisticated ingredients. Let's get started. Making soup is so easy when you have all your prep work done. We're gonna start by dicing some carrots. And I'm using the tricolored carrots because I want this soup to look very festive and very colorful. Then we need to dice one onion into tiny little cubes. Talking about sophistication, you might want to use shallots instead of onion, or you can use leeks, which are very well presented in the Tuscan cuisine. Then we need to chop three stalks of celery and it's up to you. You can dice it, you can cube it, or you can even shred it. Uh, whichever style you like would work for this soup. You also need to press three cloves of garlic and I like this press because it doesn't just press the garlic but also cuts it into tiny pieces. Okay, let's talk about herbs here. And it's a very standard um, herb uh, choice. In Italian cooking, you're gonna have some fresh oregano, you're gonna have some fresh thyme, and you're gonna have some Italian parsley. Uh, we're just gonna take the uh, thyme and uh, oregano off the stems and we're gonna chop it finely. And also we're gonna finely chop our a flat leaf Italian parsley, which is very, very popular in Italian cooking. So here are the ingredients that presented in both soups, which is pretty standard for any soup starter. Uh, your carrots, your celery, some fresh herbs, some onion, and some garlic. So let's talk about what Zuppa Toscana will have. And Zuppa Toscana will have kale in it, and it's a Tuscan kale. Uh, which is gonna chop it a little bit more finer uh, because it would be easier to eat the soup when the uh, kale is a little bit more finer dice. Um, this way it will not wrap around your spoon when you eat it. Zuppa Toscana will also have potatoes in it and I have three medium-sized Yukon gold potatoes. I'm just gonna slice them. And you can slice them the way you like it. In um, some recipes, they keep it whole or just slice it in half or even slice it in circles. But keep your potatoes in water until you're ready to use them. Zuppa Toscana will also have Italian sausage in it. And I have one pound of mild Italian sausage. You can use the hot one if you like your soup a little bit more spicier. You will also need a cup and a half of heavy cream. In Tuscan white bean soup, white beans are used. And I'm just using cannellini white beans uh, from the can. I uh, washed them and drained them. Also bacon or pancetta is used in that soup. I'm gonna use pancetta. I am making a large pot of this soup and my pot is 8 quarts. Since in my house a uh, soup is usually breakfast, lunch and dinner, so I am using uh, 2 uh, quarts of chicken stock and 2 quarts of vegetable broth. For the flavoring we're gonna need salt, pepper and some um, red pepper flakes if you like it a little bit spicier. And to garnish our soup, we're gonna need either Romano or Parmesan cheese. All my prep work for the soup is done, except pancetta. Uh, I left it on the counter, so it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to slice it. So if you like to finely slice pancetta, just keep it in the fridge or even in the freezer. Okay, it's making soup time, you ready? 
and keep your pot on a medium high um, heat uh, because we're gonna need to sear a couple things here and you will get a better sear if you keep it on um, slightly higher heat uh, add about two tablespoons of good olive oil we're gonna drop our pancetta and we're gonna crispen it up a little bit and then we're gonna add our onion and your onion doesn't have to brown just as long as it's sweated out a little bit you can add your garlic after that and then we're just gonna mix it all together just let all the flavors combine and then we're gonna add our sausage meat and with a spoon we're kind of just gonna break it apart so it cooks evenly make sure all your sausage meat is cooked and slightly browned uh, and that browning is gonna give us a lot of flavor in our soup then it's time for our spices we're gonna add some salt some pepper and some red pepper flakes and then you can adjust the seasoning later after your soup is done then we're gonna add our celery and we're gonna add our carrots which is gonna mix it all together and let the vegetables cook along with the sausage and the onions so they sort of like sweat out a little bit and after that we're gonna add our two quarts of chicken stock and we're gonna add our two quarts of vegetable stock if you don't need to make that much soup you can reduce the recipe in half I like to make my soups on a thinner side uh, but if you like your soups a little bit thicker you can just reduce the liquids in your soup and then close the lid and let it simmer for about 30 minutes after simmering your vegetables should be all cooked and it's time for us to add some kale and it looks like a lot of kale but this will cook down to practically nothing it's like spinach um, so we're just gonna close the lid again and let it simmer for about 20 minutes and then we're gonna add our beans and we're gonna add our potatoes and we're gonna let soup simmer again until the potatoes are fork tender which will probably take about 15-20 minutes let's check on our potatoes now so just fish one out and see if it's fork tender if it is then your soup is done not quite yet because we still need to add our cream so add your cream to the soup and at this point you're gonna turn off your heat you're gonna add um, some fresh herbs to the soup and your soup is practically done except test tasting it you need to taste your soup adjust your seasoning if you need more salt you can add more salt if you need more black pepper you can add more black pepper and your soup is done so we're just gonna add our fresh herbs and we're gonna close the lid and we're gonna let soup sit for about 20 minutes and the best way to enjoy your soup is with some bread so I have Italian dinner rolls here I'm just gonna slice them uh, diagonally and I'm gonna grill them on that grilling pan so just gonna put about a tablespoon of good olive oil I'm gonna place my bread and I'm gonna let it toast until it's crispy and then we can enjoy our soup after that and I will show you what that wonderful soup looks like and just look at this soup it has pancetta and white beans from the Tuscan bean soup and it has the kale some sausage and some cream from the Zuppa Toscana we have two soups in one that we can absolutely enjoy and traditionally this soup I would serve with some grated either Parmesan or Romano cheese and if you can find a name for this soup for me that would be great just um, write in the comments below I would really appreciate it and I hope you like my recipe Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye.